Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than our normal cleaning videos. So we will be cleaning today just a little, but we are mainly decluttering and organizing our bathroom cabinets. So I normally have to do this at least once a year. Right now I'm in my master bathroom. I'm gonna be showing you guys some things. We have a whole master, look, you can see me. Hi. We have a whole master bathroom renovation planned, but for right now we're living with what we got. So if you guys have been following along, we just repainted our whole entire house, but this and the office are the only rooms left that have this tan color still. And the reason we did not have um, him paint in here is because we don't know what color we want in here quite yet. And same with the office. We're thinking about maybe doing like a wallpaper or something. So I'm going to show you guys. We have like a hot mess of a blind going on here. And um, Jane has decorated some stuff. I know I show that all the time when we're cleaning our bathroom. But today we're going to be going through our drawers. We're going to be getting rid of some stuff. We're going to be organizing because some stuff is in like wrong drawers. Stuff is just kind of thrown around. And then especially in the girls' bathroom. So the girls are just now at that age, especially Jane, where she likes to do her own hair, she picks her own bows, she brushes her own teeth, um, she gets like lipsticks and chapsticks out of her bathroom, and then everything kind of just gets thrown back onto the counter or underneath the sink. So underneath their sink in the cabinets is a disaster. So I'm gonna bring you guys along for that as well, and then we're just gonna clean the bathrooms too. So. Why am I out of focus? There we go. So anyways, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and we're just gonna do this as fast as we can because I don't wanna make this like a huge project, which it might be. So we're gonna go ahead and get started in our master bathroom. So the first thing that I do is I go through the things on the counter because this little basket has started to collect things. It used to be for my bath bombs, but I ran out of bath bombs, need to buy more, and I was just using it for like a collect all. So I put everything, or I took everything out of there and put it on the floor. And now I'm starting in my drawers. This is my toothbrush drawer, um, and there were a lot of these Smile Brilliant, which I used to whiten my teeth things in there and they were old and so I just went ahead and took those out. I put a new towel in and I try to put a new towel in there every few months because I do put my wet toothbrush in there so I don't want it to get like moldy or anything in there. And my plan of action is basically just to go through each drawer one at a time take everything out of it, see what I need, see what I use, organize it obviously, and then put everything back. And I'm also trying to get rid of things that I'm not using as well. So um, this was my hair tie drawer, and this drawer was a mess as well. I got a, a lot of new scrunchies as you can see, and some hair scarves, and I kind of just threw them in there on top of all of this that you see. So I am just organizing that, putting all the hair ties all together, all the bobby pins all together. I even had separate bags of certain like hair ties and bobby pins that I take on vacation with me and I got rid of those. I also decided to wipe down all of the drawers as well after I got all the stuff out just because they had been collecting dust and hair and all sorts of stuff in it so a good wipe down before putting the stuff back in was called for. This is the bottom drawer over here and this has a whole bunch of makeup products that I either get as samples or don't use or have duplicates of and this is also where I keep my nail polish and nail polish remover and stuff like that. Um, I do need to go through the makeup 
bag that you see right there, but I did not have time for that, but it has so much stuff in there. Half of the stuff I probably will never use, so I do want to go through that soon and get rid of a lot of that makeup. This is the cabinet underneath my sink, and I actually just recently cleaned this, so it didn't need much help but I just wanted to reorganize it because this is where I have some of my jewelry so I need it to be nice and clean so that I can um, get to my jewelry easy. Um, and I did get rid of a lot of face products. I think I show you this at the end of this clip but um, some face products that I've had for probably five years and I think they're probably expired. I don't know why I kept them thinking that maybe I would use them one day. I don't know but it felt good to just get rid of them. Okay, now we are on the other side of my sink. This is the top drawer. This drawer is where I keep all of my face products, but I decided to change it up a bit. I used to keep all of my face products in this drawer, but I decided just to put the ones that I actually use on a day-to-day -day basis in this drawer. That way it's not cluttered and the drawer hardly closes. So these are the things that I use every day, and then the rest of the stuff I went ahead and put in that other drawer, which used to just be lotions, um, but I decided just to put all of my extra stuff into that drawer. This drawer needs a little bit of help, but it has all of my face masks and clay masks and things like that. It also has my perfumes and my tanning lotions. And so I tried my best to get rid of some stuff and then I also tried my best to put everything back in the drawer nicely so that it stays organized. Now we are over on Chris's side of the sink and underneath the sink over here is where we keep all of our extra stuff. So extra bars of soap, extra cotton balls, extra Q-tips. Um, we keep his bathroom bag in there for when we go on vacation. We also keep the trash can under here. We had extra toothbrushes for the girls and I decided to take that over to their room to make um, room. And then we also have like extra body washes and body lotions and things like that all underneath the sink since Chris doesn't have that much stuff and then in his drawers I basically just took everything out asked him what he needed what he didn't need and just reorganized them
Okay, so I know that you guys saw me do the drawers while I was just emptying them out and organizing them, but I'm gonna show you guys in each drawer really quick. So this is my toothbrush drawer. I got rid of all those Smile Brilliant things, and this is just the stuff that I use on a daily basis. This is all of my beauty products that I'm not ready to get rid of. Um, there's like creams and lotions and um, eye serums and lip serums and masks. No, no masks are in here, but lotions and stuff. This is my little thing that I wear when I wash my face. I wish my drawers were a little bit taller so I could put like this in it or something to organize things better but right now it's just going to be like that and then here's all my hair stuff this is a lot more organized i know it doesn't look like it is but i have all my bobby pins you guys saw me put all these hair ties that were just like thrown around in here here's all of my scrunchies and then my um, scarves are back here and then my hairbrush and then this thing i only use when i'm like fixing my hair like curling it or straightening it and then down here are my nail stuff, and then this is all my extra makeup. I do need to go through this though because there's some old stuff in there that probably can just be thrown away. Then in here, um, we have the Epsom salts, my curling irons, my straighteners, my hair dryer. Then I have most of my jewelry, and then there's a lot of jewelry in here as well that I don't wear as often. It's my makeup bag and then back there like my tampons and some extra face stuff that I'm not ready to get rid of because I did get rid of a ton of it there. That curling iron I'm giving away because it's too big. Then up here, this is just the face stuff that I use on a daily basis. I had this like clogged up with all the other stuff that I had in there and it was getting me flustered. So now that's just the stuff I use on a daily basis. Um, here, this drawer, I wish I could organize this a little bit better, but I have all of our, my face masks and my other face masks and like peels and stuff. Here's all the perfume. I'm not a huge perfume person, so I have a lot of just tester things. I have some tanning stuff and then deodorant and then makeup remover. Then I have nothing in this drawer, so I might end up putting like this stuff maybe in there so that this drawer is not as crowded. And then down here is all the hair stuff like dry shampoo, um, oil serums. This is lotion that I put on m mostly my legs and then hairspray and mousses and sea salt sprays and stuff like that. Then this is under Chris's sink, but this is where we just keep like our extra soap and body washes and mouthwashes, our Q-tips, extra toothbrushes, extra razors. That's his bag that he uses when he goes out of town. And this is where we put the trash can. It's just really full right now. Then this is Chris's side. His drawers are absolutely tiny, so I might end up putting stuff under here now that under there is a little bit clearer, but we have... Um, shaving cream and his razor things, his contacts, face lotion, his hair stuff. And then over here is his toothbrush drawer with his um, toothpaste and stuff like that. And that is it. So now I just need to clean in here. I had some organizing bins, but like I said, the drawers ended up being too shallow for them. So I'm thinking about possibly getting like drawer organizers, but you guys saw how small these drawers are. So I don't even know if it's worth it. But the good thing is, is that I got rid of a lot of stuff and I also put things in their right spots and I have one whole drawer that's empty. So I'll be able to organize that. So now on to the cleaning of this bathroom. I will let you guys just watch me clean this bathroom because I feel like you've watched me clean this bathroom many, many times. I don't really need to explain what I'm doing here, but I do want your opinion on something. So we just painted our house the agreeable gray color, which I think is a really popular gray color these days. And I'm thinking about, well, I am going to be redoing the bathroom. I think I already said that in this video, but I wanted your opinion on what color I should do. So our bedroom is actually a light tan color, like a very, very light tan. I think it's called Wheat Bread by Sherwin-Williams. I'm not exactly sure if it is Sherwin-Williams, but I know that it is Wheat Bread. And then, like I said, we have Agreeable Gray. 
but I wanted to maybe do a funner, funner. I wanted to do a more fun color in the bathroom or just stick with the agreeable gray or the wheat bread and then do like accent colors in the bathroom as far as things that are on the counter or artwork or something like that. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think. Should I stick with the neutral wall color and then just use accent colors or should I be bold and do some fun color in the bathroom? Okay guys, so it is 9.30 at night and I am just now getting started on the girls room. So this has been taking all day because we've been doing tons of other things, but I've got to get this done today because we have a huge weekend with 4th of July, Piper's birthday, Piper's birthday party, and then um, we're gonna be gone all next week. So I have got to finish this. I know that there are a lot of you out there who have projects like this and do I want to be up at 9 30 at night organizing and cleaning the bathroom absolutely not I'd rather be in bed with my husband right now who's watching tv but sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and this needs to be done wait till you see inside of these cabinets so let's get started mm -hmm. 
My plan of action was pretty similar to our bathroom. The girls don't have, have any drawers in their bathroom. They just have this one big cabinet. And as you can see, especially on this particular side, this is where they kind of just threw everything inside and take things out and put things back in and just don't have a spot to put things. So my plan is to make designated spots and designated um, areas for all their things so that they know exactly where to put things back when they play in here. So I don't mind them coming in here to get their little chapsticks or their lip glosses or their fingernail polish, but if they know exactly where to put it back when they are done, then this cabinet hopefully will not get out of hand again. As they get older, I'm sure they're going to be collecting things, hair dryers, things like that, where we're going to have to reorganize under here many times. But for now, I am just trying to organize what they have in here and what I've noticed them using the most of. So I'm just making designated spots for everything. Because you don't know who you are. Okay, so that didn't take me as long as I thought it would, and I'm glad the girls are not awake because I did throw away a lot of, like, they just had so many different, like, containers that they were trying to stuff, like, lip glosses in and nail polish, and so now all of their nail polish is in one spot, all of their lip glosses in one spot, and... I know where the things are underneath this cabinet now. So I'm going to show you what is underneath their sink. And obviously as they get older, these things are going to change. That's why before it used to be like baby stuff and just stuff that I would need to get under here for. Like lotion and detangle hair stuff and everything. And now the girls like going under here to get their stuff. So we do have wipes and toilet paper over here because it is closest to the toilet. Then this opens up like a two-way thing. And we have tons of toothbrushes. We got these toothbrushes on Amazon and they're just, um, I think they're green, purple, and pink. Can you see the sparkles? So they all have sparkles on them. But there are a ton of them. After the kids got sick so many times this fall, we needed new toothbrushes. And this is actually full of toothbrushes as well, like um, some character toothbrushes. So we're pretty much set as to for toothbrushes. And also every single time the kids go to the dentist, they get new toothbrushes and new toothpaste. So these are all the little toothpastes that they keep getting from the dentist. So whenever we run out and then um, floss is down there as well. And this is just an old um, toothpaste container that, or toothbrush container that they had up there, as well as this um, soap dispenser. But they really like this Mrs. Myers smelling soap. And I could pour it into that, but that is full. And then they like these character toothbrush holders. So maybe when they get a little older, they'll switch back to that. Um, Jane was using this mouthwash and now she says she doesn't like it. So I may throw it away. I don't know if it has an expiration date or anything, but I'm going to keep it in here just for a little longer. Don't throw it away. Can you guys hear that? I guess Jane's listening. She's up at 9.45 at night. Okay. Um, this little bag is, was mine. These are my, this is my monogram, but this is what I use for the kids when we go out of town. And so I have this bag in here that has small hair ties, big hair ties, hair clips. That way, when we do a go out of town, I don't have to worry about that. It's already in there. And then I just throw their toothbrushes and their toothpaste and their hair brushes and bows in here. And this is like their little bathroom bag. These are two makeup bags. This used to be in my room. It just has play pretend makeup in it and then this has some real makeup in it for Jane's dance performances 
so they kind of like to play with this sometimes this is like a little play turtle thing that the kids have in the bathtub and this is the turtle's house so we're just keeping it under the sink this is an extra hair dryer that I didn't want to throw away so I just put under the sink for when the girls are ready to blow dry their hair which um, it's funny because I forgot that was down there and actually tonight was the first Oh, I hear Piper crying Tonight was the first night that Jane asked to blow dry her hair. She's never asked to blow dry her hair And she asked tonight so And then lastly is this little drawer over here and this is the cabinet that they go in the most It's all one big cabinet as you can see but this is the one that they're always opening and going in. So I have their lotion right here. This is all of their lip gloss, guys. They have so much lip gloss or chapstick or whatever you want to call it. We just call it lip gloss. And then in here is all of the fingernail polish and their fingernail clippers and everything are in there. So I like how organized it is. We'll see if it stays. The trick for having your kids stay organized with their toys and stuff is to always have a spot for things. So like I said before, the girls just had way too many little containers to put their lipsticks and stuff in. Now that they just have that one tray, it'll be a lot easier for them to clean up. So when I ask them to clean up their lip glosses, they can just throw them in there. And same with their nail polish and stuff, and it all goes into one spot. So. That is all organized. I feel really good about that because I feel like that's been on my to-do list for a really long time. And now I'm gonna quickly clean the girls' bathroom because it's late and I just cleaned it really, really good last week. So it just needs like a quick wipe down and the toilet needs to be cleaned and the bathroom probably needs to be wiped down too. Or not the bathroom, the bathtub. So we're gonna do that right now and then we'll be done. Hold on when you need a friend I'll never let you go again Reach out when your mind's uneasy Cause I'll understand Hold on when you need a friend I'll stay here to the end Get up, don't hang your head We'll take it step by step Now I'm living in a matchbox All this time All it needed was a little spark Give me my heart back cause somebody stole it And put it in your head Give me my heart back cause somebody stole it And put it in your head Give me my heart back cause somebody stole it
Okay guys, we did it, yay. It is 10, 15. So needless to say, I am getting ready for bed now. Um, I hope that you guys did enjoy this. Like I said, I hope it gave you some motivation to Sometimes you just gotta stay up late and clean or sometimes you gotta wake up early and clean. If you wanna keep your home clean and organized, you have to make time for it. So I hope that I gave you guys the motivation to go organize something. Next up are these kitchen cabinets. Guys, talk about an all day project. That's gonna be an all day project. So I tried squeezing this project in today with all the stuff going on um, between Piper's birthday and everything. But I know the kitchen cabinets is gonna have to be a week where we don't have anything going on and pick a day where we have nothing so i'm excited to show you guys that soon as well but if you like this video give it a thumbs up for me and we'll see you guys in our next one bye